eight years ago. I was diagnosed with leukemia. We introduce you to Marie Fusel during last year's Great Chicago Blood Drive. Leukemia survivor turned blood donation advocate. Fusel has been advocating for blood donation more than ever. She felt the need to step up. Especially now with COVID, I'm being super careful because I'm compromised, I'm asthmatic, and anything that could upset my system could make me relapse. So I'm very important about following restrictions, about uh, advocating too for blood donations because people aren't going out, they're not donating blood, and the need for blood never stops. COVID didn't stop the need for blood. Since the beginning of the pandemic, she has been organizing blood drives, hosting six in Orland Park this year. We had our first blood drive in March, March 30th, and it, it was hard getting people to come. That was the beginning of COVID. People were scared, the unknown. Um, but it ended up being so successful that then they said, can we have more? And we had two more. And each time the people came and they exceeded our expectations. Um, one of the blood drives, we were expecting 30 people to come and 71, came. they got 71 donors. Busel appreciates anyone who can and will take the time to donate. She knows all too well how much of an impact one donation can make. I received almost 100 units of blood from donations. And I wouldn't be alive today if people hadn't done that. Your one blood donation doesn't just go to one person. It could technically go to three people. So that time that we had a blood drive and we got 70 people, 70 times three, that's how many lives we could have potentially saved giving people other things to, to think about and to say, what can I do to make an impact? Donate blood. You could be saving a baby. You could be saving a car accident victim's life. You can know that you are definitely individually making an impact. Jose Sanders, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.